Ja, I'm adding the webcam. I'm adding the webcam. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of this lovely little mod pack here that I designed myself. This is the Ocean Survival mod pack. It's basically Subnautica. That's the only way I can explain it. It's basically Subnautica. Little tiny islands that generate all over the place. If you take a look at the map here, this is the island that we're on currently. We have some builds going on, and they're pretty tiny, so you really have to manage your space. This is the island that I spawned on, and then these are some other pretty large islands I discovered the other day. But as you can see, most of this world, most of this world is pretty much completely water. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see how this all develops. This is episode 7, I believe. Yes, episode 7. And today I want to focus on, one, building an actual house, because at the moment we kind of just have this little starter shack. And I want to I want to make something nice. I want to make something big and I want to make it beautiful. I want to make it big, I want to make it beautiful. Just like a wall. Big, beautiful wall. Except it's going to be a big, beautiful base. So I think the first order of business, just right off the bat, is I have some stuff with me. I just need to... Get a better shovel, because I have a feeling that's going to break. Not a better shovel, I guess just another shovel. We're running low on diamonds. Clearly. Alright, so the first order of business that I want to do today is go over to this Redwood Forest Island that I found way over here. For some reason, it's not loading in on my map, but there, there's a Redwood, giant red, Redwood Forest Island full of Redwood trees, and I want to build my island out of that. So I think, I think that's honestly the best source of wood I've seen so far, besides, we have a little waystone over here, takes us to a village, at this village, there is these, these are like, um, I think, they're not pine trees, they're something else, let me, let me actually go take a look, can't remember, how did you get there, I could have sworn I locked up all the villagers, yeah, you stay in there, don't you go running off again, yeah, go, go get a job. <laughs> go get a job, you jobless freak. Alright, um, yeah, this. This is, this is some of the other wood I wanted to use for my house. I think this would make a good accent. We can use, like, the red wood for building up, like, the, the pillars of the sides of the house. And then this. I think, yeah, it's like a neutral tone. Almost like an oak. What is this? Fur? Yes, fur. So I want to gather up a bunch of this fir wood, and then we can head over to the Redwood Forest Island and grab a bunch of redwood. I wonder how these logs would look stripped. Oh, that is nice. You know what that reminds me of? You know what that reminds me of? Something that's actually coming to the game. It reminds me of the new pal oak that's coming to the game. This is like almost exactly like that, but with a bit more of a gray tone. And I'm definitely feeling it. I wonder, um... If we eventually get, like, these mods updated, which I don't know if that will happen, actually, come to think of it. Some of these mods are pretty old, so we'll probably just end up staying on this version, which is 1.20.1. And also, by the way, if you want to play this mod pack, I have a Discord server in the description, and you can head over there, and you can download the mod pack for yourself. The version's 1.21, I believe it's Fabric. Yes, I think, I think it's Fabric 1.21. No, 1.20.1, not 1.21. I've made that mistake a few times. Uh, telling people that it's 1.21 and they're like, well, why doesn't it work? No, it's 1.20.1 and it's fabric. So if you head over to my Discord server, there'll be a separate channel for that. You can you can download this if you want. I think it's pretty fun. You got all sorts of cool fishing stuff. We got Young's Better Ocean Monuments. So those things are like freaking huge. Tons of like pirate ships and stuff. Definitely a very cool mob pack. And I guess another thing while I'm, while I'm uh, talking about the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. We're on the way to 100 subs. And I think it'd be pretty cool if we could get 100 subs by the end of the year. I think that's like a nice, a nice little challenge. So definitely hit that subscribe button if you have not subscribed already. And also, one more thing, and then we'll, then we'll be done with the, with the plugging for a while. I do have a Patreon, so if you guys do want to support me there, um, that's a, there's like a little membership for that. I think it's like, yeah, it's $5 a month. There's no perks yet. So it's like literally completely up to you. So like that holy your decision. You don't have to. Um, I will eventually add some perks to it though and actually make it so, you know, it's worth watching. Maybe early video releases. 
and like sneak peeks to them. I think that would be cool. Maybe I could do like some sort of like you guys can play get, like be in my videos or something. I think that would be sick, especially the Garden Warfare 2 ones. You know how cool it would be to get like people to do like little 1v1s, really get the community alive. I think it would be even cooler once uh, private servers come out for that game. Eventually, it's supposed to happen. Um, one of the people working on it, Breco, said that like he needs to. There, there needs to be things polished first before he can actually release the private servers for the game. Ooh, look at that crab. This thing is huge. So yeah, he's he's working on private servers for Garden Warfare 2. So eventually, if that becomes a thing, we can definitely do uh, like a playing with viewers tournament or something. I think that would be sick. F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. N is for any time, any time at all, and down in the deep blue sea. Oh, we are approaching the island now. We're not approaching the island! We're here. Yeah, see, this is the giant redwood forest from last episode. This thing is freaking huge, compared, at least compared to all of the other islands. This is probably the biggest one. Or maybe it's just the trees make it look big? I don't know, let's see, on map. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit smaller than our original island. This one's huge. Our, our actually, the, the island we're on now is humongous compared to the rest of these. So I'd say this one is like third biggest from all of the islands I've seen so far. So yeah, I'd, I'd say it's pretty big. I'd say it's a mega chungus XL double X large island. This thing is just like an ocean trolley. It just kills everything. Oh, we got a pirate ship here too. Okay. Looks like they got a wee bit of loot. Mmm. Let's see your, let's see your crossbow. Uh, I came here to get wood, but let's just see what they they got in here. I'm gonna have to actually like get on the ship completely. That's the coolest part. Oh no, you just ignore me. Yeah, you just leave me alone. Okay, don't even. I'm- I'm not even here. You don't even have to pay attention to me at all. I'm just- I'm just looting your ship. That's just the way it has to be. Anvil? <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> don't- don't kill me. I just- I just- I just want your loot. That- I literally am just robbing you blind and then leaving. That's all I'm doing. How did you get off the boat? It's not even- no, you can't- you can't do that. <laughs> He's jumping over walls. He's breaking the laws of Minecraft to get over to me. Jeez. Alright, yeah, so what, what I was saying is I'm thinking we're gonna use this as, like, the support beams for the house. Because it, it has, like, this nice, like, rough texture. Now, the strip variation looks like that. Actually, not as bad as I remember, but the- the wood variations and the strip variations the plank variations, I mean. Um, they're not the greatest looking thing, but it is a very abundant source of wood, and I really like how the bark bark looks, so I'm gonna build them. Now, unfortunately, I don't think you can actually build these um, mega chungus looking ones. I, I believe you cannot build them. I think you have to find them naturally, unfortunately. I've tried I've tried growing like a, a four four by four sapling wide one before and I don't think it did anything at least they definitely didn't get this big because before I was able to actually build a house in one of these on a, a world I had a long time ago there's another pillager down there I just heard the arrow isn't there where what eh, weird Maybe there's an invisible pillager down there. You know, I knew there was something wrong with my recording setup before I hit record. And it's- I forgot to put my lights on, so my webcam lighting looked horrible. My apologies for that, not that anybody actually pays attention to the webcam that much. Or cares, but I do. Dude, like, I, <laughs> I have this, like... This thought in my head that everything needs to be perfect before I start recording. Like, everything just needs to look perfect. It definitely, like, hinders me a bit sometimes. 
I just need everything to look perfect so I just never start recording in the first place. Dude, two, like, two of these trees are gonna break my entire axe. My entire diamond axe with, like, it had, like, 600 durability left when I got here. Just, like, half the durability on it. Third. That is ridiculous. Two of these trees breaking the third of the durability on a diamond axe. I actually don't even know if we're gonna be able to finish breaking this one. So ridiculous. These trees are great. Unfortunately, they're not, like, the most versatile. Like, it's not like an oak log where it just looks good for everything. They're kind of like... You know, it'll look good as a floor. If you really need, like, red wood for something, like planks. Like, I, I don't know what you would use that for, but that might, it might look good situationally. And then that's about it. <laughs> At that point, you might as well just use the rest for fuel, right? I see a vision. I have a vision for the, uh, the cabin, though. I think this will look good. I'm really thinking, like, a sort of, like, Lincoln Logs. Like, I don't know why. This wood, this wood type, it reminds me of Lincoln Logs. That's all I can think about. Also, I had this idea. What do you guys think of getting a green screen right here? And then I can crop myself out, right? And then you can see more of the game. I think that would be sick. I would have to actually figure out how to use it with, like, OBS and everything. Because there's specific, you know, steps you have to do, but I'm sure I'd be able to figure it out. I think that would look really nice, so that I'm not, like, my, my face isn't taking up the entire screen. I know green screen isn't really, like, the meta on YouTube anymore, like, most people don't even use a green screen. But I think it would look, I think it would look pretty sick. I think that would be, like, the ideal, uh, ideal setup. The only thing that would be annoying about it would be having a giant green screen in the middle of my room that I would have to, like put up every time I want to record, which I wouldn't have to put it up, but like, I would want to put it up every time and it would just be like this big hassle. Oh, shoot. Oh my, what? Ah! <laughs> no, what? No. That was not expected. Oh my goodness. Out of all the places, out of all of the places I could have just died, that is the absolute worst. That is the mega chungus worst place I could have died. Oh my goodness. So now I need to make a boat. I think we have gravestones. I'm gonna sleep. And then I gotta go collect my grave. That is so annoying. That's such a waste of time. My things. Oh, it's just going to all sit on the ground and not actually go into my inventory. Roger that, game. I see how it is. Usually it just goes right into your inventory. I guess I didn't click it right. Alright. Um, I don't need that. Alright, looks like I got everything back. Nice, nice, nice. Alright. We have quite a bit of wood, so I'm going to store that in the galley. And then... Go get some more. I think we're doing sufficiently splendid on the wood, so it's time to bounce like a baddie and get back to my base. Right now. Like. I did a little edit! Uh, yeah, let me know if that looked clean. I don't, I don't know if it did. I literally kept my hand like this for two and a half minutes on the way back to my base just to do the edit, so you're welcome for that. Um, all right, the rest of that can just stay in there. I don't need it right now. Back up to the base. Back up to all these basics and learning and education. I don't know. Like, that's just going to be living rent-free in my head forever. This is, like, really useless, but I'll just leave it there, sure. All right. Boom, an anvil. Look at that. We got a bunch of beautiful wood. Let's just turn these into logs, right? And then get rid of those. Bunch of beautiful redwood. Absolutely love to see it. I think I think I love to see it. It looks cool. Oh, wow, I just noticed the trees grew. 
Look at how huge those are. They even got like little like um, branches coming off the side. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I didn't think that those would grow that big. Check these out. Yeah, they actually are like legit full-size trees. I didn't know if they were gonna grow. Yeah, look at that. That's a that's a monster right there. I think I'll tear this one down and leave that one. All right, so kind of experimenting. I actually was supposed to go <laughs> went back to my base to grab wood and sleep. I slept, never grabbed the wood, and then went back to the house. Very stupid. All right, perfect. I think that's like a pretty decent looking floor. All right, now, maybe? Honestly, that's not too bad. It's a little quirky looking. It's very, like, look at how saturated and deep that red is. I think this will work. Instead of just having like this almost accentless looking outside. We'll use this, and I think I think these stripped redwood logs actually look pretty nice. This might be like one of the only like one or two places I use them. I might use it, I might use it for a chimney too, or I might use like actual bricks for a chimney. So I don't want to use it too much to where it like just looks stupid. All right, so can we do a second? We can do a second floor. It'll only be like two blocks tall though. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh crap, you scared me. Jeez, get out of here. Where did he come from? Top? He just like appeared. Jeez, never do that again. Alright, yeah, this definitely needs to be expanded a bit. I think if I just come up like... That. I think that I think that looks pretty good. Some lights going up here. All right. Yeah, we'll figure this out. Um, what's next? So I sort of brought this in a bit. I think maybe lining this up with more first slabs would be the play. Alrighty, I think I got a pretty good window pattern going for the second and first floor, so all these spots here will be windows. Um, this guy is going to be dead. Thank you. So yeah, all these spots will be windows. I don't know what I'm going to do here yet. Obviously a, <laughs> obviously a door. And then this is the window pattern I have for the top, so I think I'm going to use glass panes because those will look the best. This is a pretty snazzy window pattern. And then we're going to fill this entire part here with uh, glass panes as well. And yeah, that is the next order of business, isn't it? Getting a ton of glass. All right, maybe making a front door that would probably be pretty smart. Look at that. That's looking. That's looking like a real mean, mean green uh, living machine. So there's actually literally no green in it whatsoever. All right, yeah. So it's glass time, I guess. Black. Boom, bop, boop, pow. Zlurp, zlink, zlam. Ping, ping, pow. I ran out of action words. I think I ran out of action words. 
gonna be careful I place these two because I don't have silk touch yet so any misplacements is just a waste I think it was definitely worth getting the black stained glass but I think I'll do normal stained glass for the top row windows just because that's one gonna be more expensive and two just to kind of like break it up and have a bit of variety this should be more than enough for all this though Oh, I wasted a piece. Crap. Imagine if that, like, puts me one short. Okay. Now we're good. Perfect. All the windows in the house are done. Now we just gotta move our stuff in, and then we'll be... We'll be set. This is the most, like, I just moved in house ever. Just completely empty, bare bones. And that's it. All right, well, that is another successful build. I think that's going to call it for this episode here today. We got our we got our log cabin built. I guess, like, it didn't really turn out exactly how I wanted it to. It's a little bit ugly, but it will serve its purpose. Two floors is always nice. I have plenty of storage for our adventures. I think, I think next episode, you can quote me on this, I think it will be time to finally explore one of these ocean monuments. We have one right over here, and this thing is just, like, absolutely huge. So, I'm excited to, uh, to get over to exploring one of those eventually. That will be pretty fun. So, that's the video. I will see you guys later. Remember, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that YouTube mumbo-jumbo. Wait, is that, like, a mumbo-jumbo reference? All that YouTube jargon. Make sure to do that, and I will see you guys later. Bye.